Oh my mm. god, we are getting drunk in the middle of the day. Cheers to Japan. Ah, matcha? Matcha, this is. You can uh, see if you can handle them. Wow, Alex, you are a master. Master of chopsticks. A very interesting texture. I was expecting them to be crunchier. Wow, we just took some very nice pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just arrived at our accommodation in Kyoto and I want to show it to you because we were really surprised by the amenities we have here it's a basic room but uh, you will see why we like it so much we have here the towels and uh, the wardrobe part Alex, office, he's not included in the price I'll tell you <laughs> uh, a desk here and it's nice because they put two chairs at the desk even though it's small but they we thought eat, we are still two persons in the room and if you remember all the hotels if they have a desk they have just one chair which is weird but uh, then we have a microwave which again oh my god yeah, it's so it's, clean it's so clean Look, everything like is so clean come on we have a kettle Look, and let's see it is, I mean, <laughs> first time Alex Look. Alex is really excited because everything looks like new, but it is because I heard that this hotel is uh, from this year, I think. Then yeah, we yeah. have a huge fridge, it like very, and very and a freezer. And a freezer, and it's working yeah. actually. We I can know. we can buy ice cream. So yeah. We can put ice here. And uh, then we have coffee, tea, which are refillable because because we can take them uh, from the hallway. Look how perfect they are <laughs> arranged. Come on, I mean, everything is straight at the, at the line. Yes. <laughs> come here. Come Wait, here. one second, wait, let me finish. We have uh, air conditioner, then uh, a TV, a purifier for air. And uh, the bed looks really cozy. Right? It's right, soft. It is. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's so nice because we will be spending the next week here. A, a very nice... Uh, we have here. Ah, we have plugs, plugs over there. We have also Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. To work online. Wow, in our yes. room. Okay, then let's move to the bathroom. Alex, okay. you can do the uh, introduction. Like the uh, arrangements, yes. So yeah. please come from. Okay. Are you prepared? His favorite part. Are you prepared? <laughs> <laughs> to be amazed. To be amazed. <laughs> Look. So we have a dentist. First of all, but ah, okay, yeah, we have, we have some have. extra uh, pair of uh, shoes. Yes, slippers. Slippers. Yeah. Then we have a bed tub, which for us it uh, looks like a, a little bit small for me, but ah, uh, for me it's okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for you it's just a shower. We we love okay. that here they use all the time. For me, so. For me, look. Yes, satisfying. Mm, and also it's <laughs> very good. You can use also for shaving. <laughs> okay, and uh, then this is we have a Japanese uh, toilet. Technology. This is not just. A yeah, toilet. and this, this is how they usually look, even at public bathrooms. And then you have plenty of options here, but we have music. No, we don't have. We music have here. a shower if you want to wash your booty. <laughs> You have a bidet, so if you want from above, okay. spray strength, if you want to be slower, fast, mm -hmm. stronger. Uh, cleaning. No, cleaning and seat, seat temperature. temperature. I mean, you cannot oh put your God. tushi on the... Yeah. On the you, if you it's so it, comfy. Uh, and oh. that's it. Yeah, so... Oh. <laughs> Very small for me. Very actually, small, yeah, the bathroom. But uh, very, very uh, well uh, organized, yeah, very nice. And then we ha also have a um, balcony or what? Yes, we have here a back balcony actually. Here it is. So this is the balcony. <laughs> I'm having my hand with <laughs> the soap. And Why did you put the soap in your hand? Because Just I wanted to, to show you. To yeah. make show. Yeah. Oh, then we have a big balcony here. Yes, and so quiet. Yes, we live in a very peaceful neighborhood. And it's sunset time. Yes. Very, very nice. 
And you don't forget to mention about the... The price? No, uh, the price, yes. Uh. And also for the cleaning uh, area, because I saw here we can put our uh, clothes to dry. Ah, okay, yeah, I have to show. I have to show you our laundry room. Right, right. Because we will go to wash our laundry, so you can see how is the backpacker life. Yes. Once in a while we have to wash everything, but here it's free and uh, they also provide the irons and the uh, ironing tables, so um, come with me to show. But before I need to show you something else. What? Look, you have everything you need here. Uh, yeah. Dryer, but for me also very needed, you have these plug extensions. Very good. You have also this one. Yay. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, I think I showed that. Uh, we have towels ah, and stuff here. And look, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a lighter in mm. case of emergency. Yeah, good we have it. On the tell, uh, yeah, or to tell horror stories. Yeah. Let's go to the laundry room, Alex. Okay. So we came down and here at the reception we can uh, refill everything we need Toothbrush, razor, hairbrush, oh my god but razor I don't think we've ever had razors in a hotel Then toilet paper, cups and towels Here we have to sort the garbage And then this is the laundry room We even have TV if we want to watch it uh, while we do the laundry. And here they also provide detergent, which is amazing, considering that we don't have to pay to clean our uh, stuff, which usually you have to pay extra. And then we also have irons and iron tables, so it's really, really cool. And you have also TV, look. Yeah, we have TV to watch it when we do our laundry. How cool is this? So and we also have dryers. You're doing the laundry and I'm sitting here watching TV, some baseball maybe, a beer on my hand. <laughs> you here. No beer because we're doing this right now. And yeah. we don't have beer. We, maybe just a tea from our room. I think it's uh, a little bit... Uh, wow. Ah, yeah. But it's nice. I think yeah. this is how... How Kyoto looks uh, during winter. Okay, so let's go to work then. Yeah. We're getting to work, but then we will go to explore the city. So don't forget to come along with us. And if you like what we post here, don't forget to subscribe and support us by giving a like and a comment. See you soon. First stop is Nishiki Market, where we hope we can grab something to eat because we are really hungry. And uh, we heard that this market might close before 5, we don't know for sure. But that's why we rushed uh, here for brunch. So let's get inside and see what we can find here, delicious. Yeah, and the smell is absolutely incredible. Yeah, the mm. smell is, is nice. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what I can observe for now is that it is huge because there's a street going all the way there in the back you cannot see the end and then on the other side same Ooh, so many options and we are so hungry I want to eat everything. Yeah, me too. Let's, let's get started. Cookies. Hmm. I don't know with what. I don't even know if they are sweet or not. Because as usual it's written in Japanese. But uh, they look very cute. I think chopsticks would make a great souvenir. <laughs> so here's the shop specialized in this we could get some chopsticks hmm? yeah it's a souvenir yeah mm. 
the cheapest ones are 1,200. Maybe we will look more and if we cannot find any other souvenir, we would grab this. I think it's a fair price. Yeah. They are useful and they are good memories. And you can reuse it. Yeah. Wow, and then we found traditional shoes. I don't know if they are com comfortable. I think not. <laughs> they don't look comfortable, but they look uh, fashionable in a weird way. Yeah. And these are 4,000. 4,000. Again, another useful souvenir. Would you wear this in Bucharest? Would I? I don't know. Let's move on. Yeah. Ah, matcha. Matcha, this is. Very good. And crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> yummy, yum. Five discount. Five discount. Five discount. Yes, okay, okay. The plan, this is the matcha espresso. Espresso, ah, cafe. 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 No, What you bought? Matcha cookies. Matcha cookies. Because Alex insisted. I, I think they are a bit overpriced, but uh, I don't know, the lady. <laughs> the lady was adorable, I mean, come on. You're, you're not paying for the cookies, you're paying for the lady. Cute snack. It's almost a pity to eat them, because yeah. they look too good. <laughs> They're so cute. Arigato, arigato, arigato. Bye bye. bye. It's very funny that she, she was talking in a perfect Japanese with you. <laughs> but uh, again, a very interesting experience. We like it. I was not expecting this market to be so crowded, but uh, this is not bad news. It's actually a very nice atmosphere. Plenty of food options and also a lot of souvenir shops. because here they sell a lot of products made of soybeans. I don't think I've ever seen something like this before and 
It seems that they are um, either uh, salty snacks or sweet. These are sweet things. And also some cookies here. And they look really good. We just uh, tried the tea made of black soybeans, which was uh, very good. And I'm impressed. So many new things. So interesting. We are now at the takoyaki restaurant and uh, I might have told you before in the Osaka episode that these are some bowls like donuts with octopus in them and uh, they are fried, they taste good and uh, we want to try them out here because we tried once in uh, Thailand but here in Japan never and it's a very popular snack. We ordered the ones with the green onion and mayo, the best ones, the, the one we recommended. And uh, now let's try them out. This is how uh, takoyaki looks, really really good with plenty of green onion. And now we were thinking how we will eat using the chopsticks. Uh oh, it's difficult. How is it? A very interesting texture. I was expecting them to be crunchier, but uh, they are very. Um, how do you say? Smooth. Smooth? Yeah, yeah. I think. And uh, I want to try the octopus because so far I couldn't. But the sauce is good and the onion also. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And also the price, I think, is very fair. Come on, I mean, yeah. The price was 650, which is a bit more for a street food snack. But when you think that uh, it's not just donuts, they have octopus in them, that uh, increases its value, let's see. So I think in the end it's a fair price. But I still couldn't find the octopus inside because it's a very, very big donut. Yeah. Mm. And the octopus, I, I think I saw it. Mm. Yeah, here it is. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. You're lucky, you just found an octopus. Am I dirty? Yeah, you're very dirty. Uh oh. Your, your mouth is full of no. wood. Come on. Very good, very crunchy and good. I like it. Mm. This onion is very, very good. It works very well with everything. It balances the whole thing. Because this has also a lot of mayonnaise. So uh, it may be, I don't know, a bit too much, but uh, with the onion, it's just perfect. It's time for Alex to share uh, his opinion with us. What do you think? Do you like this donut, the takoyaki? Yeah, very much. I think it's my favorite food because uh, you can have enough. I mean, like if you eat one person whole portion, it's going to be more than enough. But you can also have four or eight. I chose the eight one yeah. because it was uh, so for four pieces it was 450 mm -hmm. and uh, or eight pieces so double it was 650. Ah, so it was a it's very a good, good deal. Offer, yeah. yeah. So here's the octopus. Mm -hmm. I like that also. Uh, I think it's also ginger inside, onion, a lot of flavors here. So, absolutely a very good and delicious uh, dish. Just across the takoyaki shop we found a Snoopy souvenir store. And I, I didn't know they like Snoopy so much. Which, which dog is this? Snoopy. Is this Snoopy? Yeah, you, do you know Snoopy? No. 
Why? <laughs> How do you not know Snoopy? And they have everything with him. I'm not a big fan of Snoopy. I just came to see what they have here. I even saw chopsticks with Snoopy. Maybe Snoopy is Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Snoopy style. If you enjoy going to markets as much as we do, you will love this one because they have so many things to eat and so many places to shop for souvenirs. It's so big. I think this might take us half day. Yeah. It's very, very nice. You have to come here. We found another chopstick store and it's funny because here you can uh, see if you can handle them. Wow, Alex, you are a master. Master of chopsticks. Yeah. And here you have the dimensions for each one. And uh, these are the biggest. But try with the smallest one. This will be a real challenge. You think it's dif more difficult or easier? It was easier with this. Easier. Yeah. When it's longer, it's hard. Uh, yeah, of to course. Catch them. You can do this. It's very hard. Great job. And then here we found a very good deal for 1,100 five uh, pairs of chopsticks and uh, we might uh, take these ones because we we didn't buy any souvenir yet <laughs> from anywhere Is with number one. Number one, the best. Ah. Oh my mm. God, we are getting drunk in the middle of the day. Yes, yes. lovely. Cheers to Japan. Cheers. First time you try. Yes. Yeah. I think. Let's I not so strong, but it smells a bit like rum or so. Like yeah. rum. Oh, yes, to us. It's pretty similar with our local drink. So Ours it's a little bit stronger. Very good. Very refreshing, I guess. Yeah. Look what keychains we found here. So funny. I've never seen anything like this before. With uh, sashimi and uh, even with takoyaki. So, so funny. And then uh, with edamame, with egg, even chicken wing, and fishes. Yeah, again another super super cool souvenir. Just outside the market is a shopping gallery here with uh, different uh, stores and also a beautiful temple. We are now at Yasaka Shrine. This is uh, one of the most important temples here in Kyoto. It's uh, over 1,300 years old. And uh, we came here at sunset because we heard that uh, it looks really nice when it lights up after the sun goes down.
Unfortunately, everything here is written in Japanese, so it's really hard to understand. Maybe we can find uh, some information in English. Mm. No. The good part is that uh, there is no entrance fee, so at least it's free to come. And uh, yeah, you have to check it up yourself and learn about the. Uh, the Shinto belief and uh, the temple itself. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So Instagram. Well, we just took some very nice pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So because these traditional costumes are so so nice, I'll you back. so beautiful. Oh, so this is the name. Alex. 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 Okay. Underline penis. Alex. Penis. We yeah. are now <laughs> exchanging <laughs> content. Penis. We are now looking for a place to go out tonight, oh, and we thought we should ask we, them. We have a long period of time. Oh. We just uh, met with some students uh, from uh, Japan studying here in Kyoto. They were really nice. We took some pictures together. We exchanged uh, Instagrams. Uh, they recommended us some places to go. It was a really nice uh, yeah, interaction. Yeah, and, and very it was, cute. Yeah, and it was really nice because they knew English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little, but they know. They yeah, really. and they, are, they were really funny mm -hmm. and nice. Yeah, really ni nice experience. Let, let's meet some other other people from Japan. They, yeah, they seem to be funny. Yeah, maybe tonight at the sake drink. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah, the area looks really nice now after the sun went down. And it's a bit calmer at this hour. There are just a few tourists around. The sky is really beautiful. And Alex is really beautiful also. <laughs> you are. <laughs> wow. The sky is really, really beautiful and also the city is lit up and we love this city, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> we are happy that we have a lot of uh, days to spend. It's night and uh, we are looking for a place to eat. We are walking uh, on the streets of Kyoto and it's a very calm and nice atmosphere with all of these intimate uh, restaurants. It seems like everywhere is something happening. We ended up at an Italian restaurant and uh, Bufala pizza was the last thing I was expecting to eat in Japan and uh, also they have very cheap wine which <laughs> wow it's so cheap it's like less than one dollar a glass and uh, the place is so uh, packed full with people waiting outside it's a very popular spot I think we are in the right place we finished the day with a drink at a local bar where uh, everyone was watching baseball, baseball. even Alex yeah yeah, I, I, I'm not such a big fan, but I, I'm just. But he learned the basics from a guy who was a big fan. Yeah, and he taught Alex uh, the rules and everything. And he what, made a new friend yeah. again. 
Alex is very sociable. Uh, so it was a very nice way to end the day here in Kyoto. Now we are heading home to sleep because tomorrow we want to wake up early, hopefully. Uh, but before sleep, maybe we will watch a movie called Memoirs of a Geisha because tomorrow we are heading to a location in which a part of the movie was filmed. So we wow. are really curious to see. We must see. Yeah, we hope it's not too long because it's late right now. If not, still is going but to be we'll an experience. But we watch it yeah. at some point, yes. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, stick with us because tomorrow we are heading to another amazing location. So be here. Be here. <laughs>